Okay, welcome to the Burn Out Show. We talk about everything. We do everything. I hope that y'all have sub. I hope that y'all hit the bell. Shout out to the new 36 subs that we got. Keep that bell rocking because we try and drop every day if we can, multiple times if we can. Monique talks to Netflix lawsuit and Perry, uh, Tyler Perry drama and Lee Daniels drama. Uh, last night, Lee Daniels came out at a uh, Monique show and apologized to her live. And for us to get a, a better context, we tried to go to the best interview that she had talking about it yeah and as she broke it down to me it sounds all completely true yeah she uh went on t.s madison shout out to t.s madison um i remember watching t.s madison when she was doing queen's court (laughs) um so with kaya with kaya so um you know i remember like it was yesterday when this came out um especially when it was in regarding the netflix debacle um, I remember when Amy Schumer, you know, Chris Rock, um, I think at the time, um, Dave Chappelle had made a reemergence right. and had secured a very lucrative deal with Netflix. And so when Monique came out with it, at first it was campaigned or showcased as she's crazy. She's crazy. Here's another black woman thinking she believed, thinking that she deserves something more than what she's, you know, the, the usual lineup. Uh, when I heard Monique speak, and again, I am a true Monique. I'm talking about Queens of Comedy, Fat Girls movie. I mean, I followed her for a long time. Her, some more, yes, uh, the Monique show, the Parkers, absolutely. Like, she's one of those people where you can't help but to like her. Like, <laughs> she she got a little bit of something for every type of personality, every type of person. Her comedy always, to me, evolves with the times. Um, and to see her growth, like I said, if anyone follows her, her growth is substantial. Her growth shows her in different facets of her life, overcoming things and always growing. So she shout speaks. out to Monique. I yeah, truly speaks, love you. She speaks like she should be on Fox News now. Yeah, she is so eloquent. She conducts herself in a way where she separates the two, right? When she comes to do a job, she does her job. But then who she is as a person always evolves and grows so um and basically how the story went was she did the movie with lee daniels yeah later on the movie pops yeah. as big moguls do they come put their name on it yeah to benefit from it tyler perry uh and um oprah puts their name on it yes and then it starts getting big then tyler perry and oprah are whoever lionsgate wants her to go do a pr- basically a promo campaign yes and she's saying not I've already, <laughs> my contract is not with y'all. My contract's already done and fulfilled. Yeah, they basically wanted her to do something based off of their namesake. Yeah. Uh, of course, everyone knows if you align with an Oprah or Tyra Perry. Tyra Perry. Tyra, Tyler, Tyler Perry. <laughs> Perry. Sorry. Jeez, he's Voldemort. Know, you right? He's going to come on this show and say, <laughs> you're going to get my box. name? <laughs> <laughs> it would be better if you said Madea, uh, huh? Or, or the... Dismissed. Yeah, because he said when Disperse. she walked in the room, the whole team was there. And then when the way Tyler Perry makes them leave is he claps his hands. <laughs> like he's Princess Amunda. Right there would have told me, I'll never work with you. That's disgusting. The interesting thing was her story is absolutely relatable. And what I mean by relatable is we've all been in circumstances where people, whether it's your family, colleagues, your peers, Your job, they expect you to do things for the freebie. And if you are a true professional in any diaspora, any way of the world, you know that one hand washes the other with payment. In order for me to be contractual obligated to anything, it would have to be within the four corners of a piece of paper and money exchange. This is the most biblical thing. (laughs) This is the most oldest thing that happens. And so she took a stand and the stand that she really took was, I'm not really speaking to the factor of how, you know, the fact that she is a black woman, she has to go through this. I think her stance more importantly was, listen, pay me and don't be offended when I ask to be paid. And I think that's where, you know, outside looking in, that seems to be really the crux of it. 
you were offended that this woman who, like she said, her resume is impressive, can't take her accolades away. She is comparable to the legends and the greats. And you even have people that are beneath her, like uh, uh, Amy Schumer, or other people that are up and coming in that comparison to her, her, that are agreeing with her, but yet you still ask her to do something for free. That will be like asking, you know, Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> to campaign for something that he has not got paid for. First of all, that is not something he wouldn't even expect it. He'd be like, I'm sorry, why are you talking to me? Right. <laughs> so right. this, to see this unfold and to know that it's still going on, like they have not reached the conclusion, the right. lawsuit is still in the midst, lets you just know the difficulties that people experience and they they, you know, when you're telling someone this, people like to act like they don't get that. Right. They yes. like to act like they don't understand what's happening. So, again, Monique, it's not even that she's fighting a good fight. She's doing something that is different from the norm. You know, right. she mentioned Eartha Kitt. Um, she mentioned Hattie Mae Daniels. She mentioned women who spoke out and they go through the same smear campaign. They get blackballed. They get blackballed. And then when finally they leave this earth, we're giving them their roses. Yeah, now they have a a, a, a Ray Charles level movie done about them. And we yeah. say, man, she was really great. We got to know about her. Yeah. She had to live in squalor and sickness and yeah. died broke. Yes. Because these people, listen, this is, this is what power structures do. This is what, this is what they do, man. Yeah. Eat and and they think, oh well, well she went over. These are dealing with black people. They do it more. Yes, they do it more. It says it, there's an old saying that says, um, "Power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely." Mm. I probably said that wrong. Someone rewrite that down in the yeah. comments. These people get in big positions, and Tyler Perry deserves his position. Don't get sure. it twisted. You know. Um, uh, uh, Oprah deserves her position. Don't get it twisted. But when they get up there, the little shady deals and nods that go on, no one ever comes out and speaks about because they want to be rehired. Yeah. And see, that's one of the things I like about David Chappelle because David Chappelle moved away from Hollywood and start exclusively dealing with an internet company and said, screw Hollywood. So he can get out of that situation. So now it's not like, well, we don't like him. So we're not going to deal with him. What I feel is I don't think we should be boycotting these people, but I think they should not be able to go do interviews and then not be brought up. I mm -hmm. don't think they should. They should have to answer. Yeah. But the truth is when you have that type of weight behind you, who's going to make them answer? You, it's, it's like, it's, it's that's why it says it, it corrupts absolutely because yeah. they living in a world where all the reasons you would have to answer doesn't apply to them. So it's like you yeah. can't really... Oh, well, all right, then we'll stop dealing with Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry owns his own studio. Yeah. And he owns, so you can't stop him from putting stuff out. So he feels I'm untouchable. So you, what, can you, what are you going to do? And, and the truth is, what are you going to do? I think the key thing that we have to understand in any individual human sensibility is self-preservation. When I've slaved and worked hard to get to a, a certain ideal in life, I will do whatever it takes to preserve that position. And that's usually what the case is with situations like this. Tyler Perry, th they're both parallel, right? Tyler Perry worked hard. She worked hard. They uh, went through adversity. They went through corruption. They went through the, the, you know, they had to kick down doors. They had to fight, fight, fight. Both parties are one in the same peas of a pod. But what happens is particularly, you know, in common settings like this, it's a frame. Some two frames can't, collide someone has to falter or bend and, and neither one of them are willing and to. they wasn't willing to do it and to be honest with you i don't blame i really don't blame either one of them the problem is that it was one of those situations where tyler perry and oprah start telling people she's yeah hard to and, deal yeah with. they involve themselves in a way to exude their power yeah that was wrong because that is your sister if you say out your mouth that she is talented, that she is worthy, that she is a legend, and you give her her roses, she all Monique was basically saying was, I hear you, and that's nice, but I've been through this situation. This is why I'm on my third marriage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why my babies are getting yeah, older. We got to put context to that. They wanted her to fly out and do a Pullmore tour. 
Mm-hmm. But like she said, she's on a third marriage. Her first two marriages probably ended because yeah. of this type of stuff. Yeah, and she wasn't so willing she to do it. Just wasn't willing to know. I'm mm-hmm. not leaving my 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 husband and child right now. I'm not interested. And she and my thing is that's what your resume does. Your resume shows your worth, and it also shows your capabilities. Now, if she's done it before, she's a seasoned actress. She's a seasoned person in Hollywood. She has the command to say that. She can say that. Now, maybe a young she enough. Had. In, or, or what I'm saying is, no, let's look at it, they took it pound away. for pound. A young up-and-coming artist, actor, singer, what have you, does not have the leisure or the command to start putting in, hey, I want this and the third. Because the truth about it is they're usually hungry. Monique is at a point of her life where she is such a professional and she's done this song and dance that now she can pick and choose. She can say, okay, well, you know, I'm pretty sure if she, if she was able to do it, she would have, that's kind of the vibe she was given. Like, listen, any other circumstance, I probably would have did just because y'all my people. But the truth is I had to put me first and when you put you first, that self-preservation starts. And you start setting these boundaries, you start to see who's really for you. You start to see who really I lines up with your ideals. So I love the fact that Monique said, which most usually black women don't say is, I want to put me first. And what I mean by me means I want to be there for my family. I don't want to miss another second. Right. I'm able to prioritize in a way where it's healthy for me. Right. She said key things that were spiritually self-preservation. Adult growth. Thing. Adult growth, mature thing. And, and to be honest with you, that, that, that brings such a human element that we're missing as we evolve as a species today, as we evolve as a society today. We are still human beings. We don't always have it together. We don't always have the correct things to say. We've made mistakes and stuff, but growth is what most people want to avert because then that expects for that. That's the expectation of you doing something different. Right. And some people don't want to go outside that box. So. And, and here goes the statement that's true, but it's been over said. That's why you own your stuff. Yes. You see, and the only reason Oprah and, um, Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry ultimately has that. See, she should have the power. She didn't have the power. Yeah. The reason why they do is because they own their stuff. Yeah. And you can't shut down somebody who can put out stuff there on, on, on their own. This is why you should own your own stuff. Because now you can say, no, I ain't doing that. And yeah. they can't be like, oh, well, we're not going to, we ain't going to put you out on the apps. Tyler Perry's half owner of two apps. I can still put my stuff out or we're not going to film your stuff at the studio. I own my own stuff. You can't stop the flow then. Yeah. So it, it puts so someone like her, who's an actor, I mean, she may not be interested in doing that and that's her right. But with that comes the bad that you kind of got to play ball or you get shut out because you don't own it. You, yeah. you have to go and sign a contract, do the show. Then that goes to a studio. You don't own it. And that goes to an app. You don't, you know what I'm saying? So every actor can't own their own stuff, but that is one of the reasons I like streaming so much. Cause when you become a, a, a streaming person and you know, I have a channel with a hundred thousand subs and I've made a, a decent side living off of it. You can say no. Yeah. Cause they can't listen. The industry that I came from and first started doing YouTube for none of them like me, but it's irrelevant cause I own it. Yeah. I own the platform that I'm putting it out on. So uh, what can you say? You didn't get me these things. I did that on my own. So yeah. you actually need me for something. I don't, I don't need you for anything. Yeah. And that's the best thing. But at the same time, people who have power are going to abuse that power, especially if they feel that you have, and anything can offend these people. Anything, as, as, something as soon as you saying, I want to stay home with my husband, that can offend them. I, the the beautiful thing is, so the opposite side of the spectrum would be, what if a person is not interested in necessarily owning, they just want to do their job and go home, which is a lot of people. A lot of people right. don't want to take on uh, that type of responsibility. I think what Monique showed was, okay, if you're going to do this to me, that I'm going to outwardly speak out, which I have the right to do, right. and I will walk through this storm. Because that's how confident she was. Most people run scared 
because they don't know there's another option. Right. She knew what her other option was. One, her other option is if you won't do it, someone else will. Right. And I can tour on my own. And I can tour on my own. And the second thing is enough is enough. You don't get to call. You don't get to praise me and don't give me my money. And I truly believe that that's what was the most offensive because when you when you stand on what you say, like like stand on at ninety nine, ten toes down. It's funny how people change the narrative, and that's what it looked like. T. S. Madison confirmed that she heard Tyler Perry himself apologize behind and said closed he, door. behind closed doors and apologize for saying. And, 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 you know, starting the regiment of blackballing her, he had a hand in it. And to be honest with you, like you said, see, that should be public. Now it is public. Yeah. The, well, I'm saying the conversation should be a public. We, we all should hear it. Oh, you mean his sorry. Yes, yes okay. it, it should be sorry because the truth about it is even with evidence, people still won't believe it. So I think what, what I like what Monique is doing, she's standing her ground because all it simply is, it's the right thing to do. You ask me to do something for free. There's no configuration on the planet that makes sense. <laughs> you ask me to. That's be, basically saying when, you bowing down to my power. Yeah, that's slavery. I mm. will not. If I, if my husband, family, my soul, my pockets do not benefit in anything I do, I have failed as a human, right. everything we do has to receive something that is beneficial to your why. Her why at the time was her husband and her children. And that's really the way that she, that that's the way that she explains the absence yes. from the husband and the children, where if you're going to be absent, it should benefit the family. So now you're telling me I'm going to be absent and it, I mean, it doesn't benefit at all. Yep. Why would I do that? That was a gamble. She just wasn't willing to she take. She just wasn't willing to do I'm not going to lose Another husband because you want me to run. And then, then you'll run me. I'm losing husbands. I don't get to see my kid. I don't got custody of my kid. You're running me on this crazy work schedule. Plus, I'm promoting. Then when I do snap, yeah, Will Smith. Mm. Then when I do snap, everybody's sitting here pointing, saying you're crazy. Like he didn't drop 27 hit hit Bingo. hit movies and was worked into craziness. Bingo. I mean, I don't know if you guys followed that Will Smith where he went on YouTube and did his like. It was like a, a, a basically a visual diary, right? And he was trying to lose weight. But in the meantime, he was talking about the book that he was writing. He had a lot of stuff going on a in that series. But we started to realize that... He is going through it. He's going through it. Like, he had an actual paid psychiatrist to walk through the process of him doing it because she was trying to break through to him and say, Will, there's something wrong. Yeah, you're and, going through stuff. Yeah, and I think that he thought at the time it was like, oh, this would be cool for the series. But what he didn't realize is he was doing actual work, and unbeknownst to him. And now the cracks are showing and things are happening. But I don't want to take it off Monique because she deserves all the credibility for this video. But that's what happens. Some people are not as strong as they appear to be. Monique did the work. That's why she is strong. She, and the problems that she was having a 25 year career before was sacrificing everything for the career and losing everything else. And that's why she sounds, Oh, she sounds so calm. Cause she stopped. She stopped. No, I'm not, I'm not, y'all not yeah. going, y'all, y'all got me doing three movies and the Parkers yeah. and I'm doing stand up, and I'm doing promo for each movie. And then everybody's saying, Oh, she's crazy. She's this, isn't that. Then I, I just stopped doing that. I'm not going to do that anymore. And I found a piece. Like she said, I was at home eating chips, <laughs> watching curious, George. watching curious, George <laughs> in the bed. <laughs> In the bed, chilling. With my husband and my kids. And you know what? I just, it always reflects to when you ascend to a level of calm. Like I said, she, she, the thing is, y'all y'all can pull that on on a young pup. Right. When you're an old lap dog and <laughs> you done been around the block. Well, you'll, you, you'll get, you'll, you'll make money. <laughs> I already got money. I already got money, baby. What, what's the problem? What, what are we talking about? People are like you. People already like me. Because it simply could have been this. Like she said, you could have just took me sitting this one out. Right. And, I would, and you didn't have to pay me. But it, this became an ego struggle. Yeah, it was like she she did exactly the correct format. I can sit this one out and no one has to cut me a check. Right. Or if I if it is necessary for me to do it or you're trying to talk to me on a favor tip, think, okay, I don't care where the money come from. Give me, give me some money. Yeah, give me a hundred. Yeah, you know I mean, let me, let me, let me, let uh, me throw some money to my husband. Let me go right. a couple shoppers right. for you. You right. know what I'm saying? And my kids are cool and, and it's fine. But it was like, 
no, no, no. And she heard one too many O's in her lifetime. Right. So it was so just. She said, I'm done. Then when she goes and she spends her time, that's probably already allotted in their year plan. Yep. And it's all right, I'm going to go do this movie. She gets, oh, you're hard to deal with. We're not going to deal with you. Now you're taking the food directly out my family's mouth because of your ego. Because of this one. Time where I said yeah. no. Oh, and like she said, I never did work with you. Right. So the fact that you, you're saying I'm hard to work with is is asinine. Yeah, it's it's astonishing to know that you'll go that low. You'll go that low when you already got all the money. You what got are you all tripping the money. about a little movie for? Like you said, and and here's the truth. She got paid fifty grand for the movie, bro. Yeah. She she did the movie as a I'm a mess as a, as yeah. a, as, a, as a G pass in the first place. Bingo. She could have just not did the movie and none of this would have happened. Yep. She did it, oh, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to do it. And then then you do me like, then, 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 then y'all come in and stamp something that's already done you had nothing to do with. I think it's fraudulent that they can come in and say they're directors after the movie's cut already. I know. Like, th- I'll put you this way. This is something where we have no idea how this goes right. down. Like, so this is a What format. directors do I believe? Did yeah. Stephen King <laughs> really make uh, uh, that car movie? I think he did. I mean, <laughs> why do you think he did? <laughs> I just say like, no, I don't, I don't I trust mean, it. We would have to get someone to who kinda... made Star Wars for real. <laughs> That's what I want. George know. Lucas. Are you or... <laughs> right. I don't think. Or did Sheldon do it? I don't know who did it. If y'all just slapping names on stuff willy nilly, yeah. I think. Um, I think overall, Monique. I. I'm, I mean. You just remind me of that back in the day, the dope auntie that you right. come to. She keep hey, it baby. real. She always got sweet potato pudding cooking up in the house. Right. She just make she just try to do the right. She tries to do the right thing by doing right by you. If she can't tell you something right, she ain't gonna tell you nothing wrong. I just I all I mean certain people you could just tell with the vibe how they move that. This is a good person, and I think what happened to her is something that is not uncommon. It happens to a lot of us in all industries across the globe. However, I appreciate the fact that she just did not buckle. She did not come on bended knee. She took it to the face, bro. Right. She just like, you know, she just took this as listen. Why do y'all think? Why do y'all think? There's so many examples of not saying no. Martin Lawrence. So y'all are young probably. But I remember the Martin Lawrence running through LA with his draws on crazy. And then he tried to say, Oh, I was smoking the Ubi. No, no, no. no. You were overworked. Yeah. You were tired. You're overworked. You were tired. Because look how delirious. much weight he put on. Yeah. Now that he's not he considered like being honey buns. Yeah, chilling. it's like and he even hearing him in conversation in his interviews, he's so much calmer. And you know what he started doing? What? No. Yeah. Oh, do you want to? I don't want to play that movie, but you can get it. I don't care. I got 30 something titles. I'm Gucci. Yeah. And I, this is what I come to y'all and tell y'all about the, 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 the society and the, the, the thought process of more. Mm. These people, when you get into the Monique's and the Martins and the Will Smith's and all that, they've had money for so long. Yeah. That after a while, they start asking themselves a logical question Why do I need more? Yeah. I can't spend what I got. You know, and, oh, well, I bought cars. They've been buying any car they want for 30 years. After a while, you just stop buying cars. Like, well, how many cars am I going to buy? How yeah. many houses am I going to buy? And how I, many clothes am I going to buy? Will Smith doesn't even be fashionably put together on his YouTube. Yeah. He just slaps on stuff and walks out because he doesn't care. I think what we need to take from it is that even with people with so much money, because a lot of people are gunning for money. That's the trend, right? Like, right. Get as much money so you can have your... $2.5 million of retirement and all this good stuff. And, you know, shout out to Kevin Samuels. But right. um, I think what we should see is this is the, this is what happens when you get this type of money, guys. So you, you should be very consciously sound when you make the decision to say, I'm going for this level of money. Because right. this is what comes with it. You're, you're, you have no private life. Your expectation are, high. of, are higher. I'll even segue this to the Kim Kardashian saying to go work. People were offended with her saying it. But let me tell you something. If she does not get up five in the morning, stay up to five in the afternoon mm-hmm. and do, do these, those shoots, do those shoots and stuff. Let me tell you something. She does come. not get paid. No matter, one else is doing it. Matter of fact, she gets sued. Yes, because she's in such a demand that the her audience will not allow her to take a break. 
So her her mind state now is so militant when it comes to this stuff that y'all think that is it's effortless. Yeah. No, it's not. I'm bro. just riding around in Tahoe's with shades on. Can you no. imagine being woken up at two in the morning, do three hours of makeup, got a contort bin, put on this outfit, mm-hmm. skirt here, jet lag over to this get place, kids. get up, eat like you're you're a rabbit. And then, your then mama you're taking your baby. flights. That's messing oh, with your tiredness. Your baby daddy acting crazy. Off the chain. <laughs> Your new your new dude is branding stuff on him every day. You it's don't know like, what's going on with that. She's going through it. You got sisters. That's an argument in itself. Right? It's like y'all are not thinking that who she has yeah, to show she, up. She yeah, has no option. But the, this is what, and this is how you know someone poor is saying, oh, but she's rich though. That does, That is not the fix. There are so many, many rich people who die screwed up. If she does not show up, she going to be pulled just like you. Right. And, and. She's rich, but she's also was born rich. Yeah. Has been rich this whole 40 years. So you're, it's like someone who eats every day, looks at a chicken wing different than the person outside the glass homeless. Facts. Man, it's just a chicken wing. To him, man, I love to have some chicken yep. wings right now. It's, it's totally different it's all thing. all vantage point. That's why I said Hollywood wants you young. See, she's aging out. We don't want to deal with you using logic. Yep. We want someone so young and hungry that when I, they never say no. And 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 that vacuum, that set makes it be possible for Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. That that type of culture makes Harvey Weinstein's not unique. And here's here's a advantage of looking at it like this. Let's say a young woman does have the logic. She's going to have to throw that to the wayside because they're going if she comes in she's already cut herself at the knee yeah so now a lot of people that are extremely smart extremely logical extremely extremely aware of their presence they're going to have to now pretend yeah. i would not be surprised that half the women in the game now are extremely smart but they got to carry on with what society says that they, they have to do che- they, they need they the check is, you got to get the check to have the cushion to say bingo no or see because it's a new day mm-hmm. she started before we had AOL at the house. Yes. We could just do it from home. Bingo. And then people are coming to us saying, yeah. you can't say that. Excuse uh, me? Why can't I say why it? Why can't I say that? If, 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 if Sky Daddy Google say I can say it, I can say it. <laughs> if, if, if YouTube did not say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so Sky Daddy. Sky Daddy Google say I can say it. So I'm going to say, I'm gonna say Yo, something. Yo, this is why I can't do shows. I mean, like, I'm just being real. So silly. As long as, as long as Pimp Daddy Twitch say I can say it, I can say it. Yeah. You can't. As long as it's Big Dog TikTok say I can say it, I can say it. And that, I yeah. can build a whole career from a room in my house, get checks from these. See, now, I'm not dealing with Hollywood. It's, the, the app says if you get people to watch it, you get this. In the discussion. We ain't yeah. got to do with none of other stuff. If it comes out to be too bad, we're going to get you. Yeah. If it don't, t- let it fly. And that is what people are doing from home. That's why they don't like DJ Academics. Yeah. Because y'all talk all that crap. Well, we'll kick you off the show. Well, DJ Academics already has millions of shows. Yep. So he can just be like, all right. Yeah. And I can go home and do what I've been doing. I yeah. don't have to be around y'all with the sex allegations, the drugs, people wanting to beat me up, all that type of stuff. I, can, I can be anywhere and say anything and, and possibly make a check. That's why you got to be into technology. Yeah. You have to be into what's p- pushing forward. I, me and her are too old for Hollywood to indoctrinate us. Yeah. First of all, I don't do drugs. Let's get out of the way. <laughs> so you can't do a meeting and sniff coke. I'm not doing this now. I'm leaving. You can't come to the uh, the mansion party. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> all sex and our bowel of battery mitts going on. I, I'm not doing with none of that. <laughs> If one of these rooms don't have five guys Man, in it and milkshakes, right. this is not the party room. And they me. give you a plate and the whole meal's this big. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know that's fattening, but you have to indulge. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> oh, I'm from down the county. You can't give me any. What is Cause this? Because you, you know, if see, you guys are young. When you got ready for a party... I mean, this was an all day affair. You went to the barbershop. You went to the hair salon. Yes, it was a you uh, you try to get out of work early, <laughs> you know, because you got to get a job on it. You get the car wash, and you had you pregame some alcohol. You pregame, and what you did was because when it's all said and done, after you done party, you go bust a fat grub. I'm talking about cheesesteak with the grease falling down, or you go to the diner, the yeah. Waffle House. Yeah, Waffle House. So, yeah, there. so uh-huh. going to these parties at 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, and y'all party all day, and then they bring you this small crudite 
with with, with first of all, no protein. It's just vegetables and sauce. You can eat this and not gain a pound. Will I live <laughs> if I give you this? Like, where's the nutrients at? And see, in there, it, it becomes a situation where you just say, first of all, I, I'm 37 years old. You cannot piss on my leg and tell me it's pomegranate juice. You can't do that. I'm a grown man, bro. Or apple juice. <laughs> there will be no Hollywood antics near me. I don't play like that. I, I have a famous saying. When someone comes to do an interview with me, oh, I got my kids. You can bring your kids yeah. because the, I don't do nothing your kid can't see. So if, it, if it's a situation where your kid, oh, well, they won't be allowed in there. I got a minute going. <laughs> I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs. I don't drink alcohol, and I don't have promiscuous sex. And those are the three things that Hollywood wants you to do. Because I'm, I'm put it out here. You can go slap to the side because you probably want to hear it. They're the devil. They are everything that is bad with society. They profit from. Yes. So they have to have you partake in it. So you have to partake in it. And and it's degenerate activities because our business is selling images and files of degenerate activity. Yes. That is what we do. So if you come over here, it is almost impossible for you to be not not be a degenerate. Yeah. Or or the worst ones are the ones that awaken from it. So if you are a person that has a jaded past or right. something like that, you know, and you're trying to clean your life up, they will go that low to bring up things from your past to use it as some type of tool uh-huh. to get you to do something or put, you know, put a battery in your back to get you to do something. Right. So like I said, the thing about Monique is regardless of how you feel about her, regardless of all the mistakes she's made in the past, documented, undocumented or what have you, the truth is today is a new day. Shout out to Nina Simone. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new light. And I feel good. And that's why I think every single person, celebrity, athlete, celebrity, athlete, every single one of these people should have a YouTube. Mm. Because you're getting all that exposure. You need to call. It's almost a YouTube has taken the place of an email bank. Mm. Where back, I remember way back in the day, they'd say, oh, you gather people emails because then you have them people. To yeah, talk. email list. It's the same thing with yep. something like a Google. It's the same thing. Well, I'm going to keep doing my own stuff. So when I'm ready to be like, I don't want to go nowhere, I could just keep dropping videos. Mm-hmm. I could just get a mic and do what D.L. Hughley's doing. Yeah. And that was to the point where D.L. Hughley getting paid more from his internet presence than he is the shows. Yeah. So now I don't have to, I don't have to, I don't have to do as many shows. I pick the shows I want. And you can always tell, I mean, if you're outside looking in and you're, you have a keen eye, you can tell because you see where they show up the most at. If right. D.L. Hughley is now showing up more for Vlad TVs and, you know, internet podcasts and things, obviously the money makes That's sense. where I'm going. Yeah, so. And, and, and it's the money without the indoctrination. The indoctrination. Now I can just go to Vlad TV whenever I want to. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to, I'm not going to let you get on Fox. I don't need Fox. Yeah. I can go to Vlad, Say TV, DJ Academics, Breakfast. I can go anywhere I want to eat I people. mean, even Fox got. A YouTube channel. No, they like, know like, what's up. Right, like that picture is from Fox YouTube, YouTube yeah. right there. Right there. Fox so, Soul. Yeah. I guess. I like don't know. I said, shout out to shout out to T S Madison. Like I oh man, she came through with this one. I mean, I just love to see the fact that you know, Monique said something that was very crucial that no one thinks about. Uh when we do things, we have to do things unselfish because it's for the next generation to come up. And a lot of us are mentors to people that we don't even know. So what Monique is doing is showcasing that, you know, you have to keep pushing because you don't know what the next generation have to go through. Mm -hmm. And so I'm her creating this platform or her creating this stance is a ripple in time that is going to be monumental for the next generations to come. Because the truth is, um, who else is going to do it? You know, no one wants to be selected to do anything. You know, I mean, but the truth is someone's got to do it. And a person that comes to this point in their life, that is the ultimate growth to know that it's not about whether or not I 
uh, get slapped on a wrist or I go through the adversity or anything. It's about, it's the right thing to do. Right. I want to do this for my family. I want my family to know this, the character I am as a mother, the character I am as a wife. I want my community to know the character I am as a resident. The, you know, th- that's what it is. It's beyond your job. This is beyond your measure of thinking or scope or earth. It's about what you leave behind. And she wants to leave behind something where when they make a movie about her, they bring this up and this is going to be what changes the little girl's mind and a little boy's and, mind. And they're going to say, I'm not giving my booty meat up. Bingo. And this is why well, all these kids want to be YouTubers because they're not subscribing to Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood, you got to go to Hollywood. You got to get pumped on for a little bit. You got to be on drill. I can do this from my crib in freaking Minnesota. Yeah. And, 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 and now what? And now I can be, I can have more traffic than Will Smith. Yeah, you you understand that 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 Michael Ma- Marcus Brownlee has more traffic than Will Smith. Yeah, that bl- that should blow your mind. PewDiePie has more traffic than Kevin Hart. Yeah, Mr. Beast had. Mode, Mr. Beast Mode, uh, Mr. Disrespectful. These people have more traffic yeah. and more command of their traffic and direct access and more autonomy in what they do. And they started off one man show. One man one show man from bands. the jiggity. Yep. Unmolested, yep. unabused, un none of that. Didn't, All they, yep. they got a few guidelines to follow, which is kind of common sense. Yep. And they're good to go. So that, that's what I got to say about it. It's 35 minutes. This went way longer I than I know. Sorry, to. y'all. But uh, I hope y'all sub to the channel. Don't do drugs. Go, go sub to, to Monique. Go sub to T.S. Madison. Um, Stay on your ground. Don't act like the T-shirts we got on ain't dope. They are. Uh, throw that out there. <laughs> locks um, are flourishing. Locks are flourishing. You see it's coming down. Um, <laughs> so just do better and uh, be happy. We outie 5,000. Peace, y'all.